Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about the heredity material, the chromosomes, DNA, and genes. In this lecture, we are going to cover uh, certain goals. Goals of this lecture are structure of the chromosomes, structure and functions of genes, structure and functions of DNA and the heredity information flow, transcription and translation. We start from what is a heredity information flow. Heredity, something that, it tra that is transferred from one generation to the next generation, that is from parents to the offsprings. Reproducing itself is a property of life and uh, is the essential property of life. This is the characteristic of all the living organisms that they reproduce themselves and they transfer their characteristics from uh, one generation to the next generation that is from parents to the offsprings. Heredity inform information flow in living organisms is carried out by uh, the structures or we can say structural units called the genes. Genes are present in the form of DNA molecules and the DNA molecules are organized in the structures called chromosomes or the chromatin material. We describe it as the chromosomal theory of inheritance. That is, there is a theory that is proved by various scientists by so many experiments that chromosomes are ultimately responsible for transferring the characteristics of the parent to the offspring. By conducting many experiments, uh, various scientists at different locations in the world proved that without the DNA, genes, chromosomes, the heredity information could not be transferred. So, uh, the DNA, DNA molecule um, which have genes is responsible for the heredity information flow. Here we look at a diagram uh, which show uh, that as we know that all the cells do have a nucleus if they are eukaryotic cells. If they are prokaryotic cells, then they do not have a nucleus uh, that is a region separated by a nuclear membrane from the cytoplasm, but they do have a small re a region inside the center of the cell which is called the nucleoid region. The chromatin material is present inside the, uh, inside the uh, nucleus or the nucleoid region. As this diagram shows to you, uh, that a chromatin material is present in uh, just like entangled threads inside the nucleus. If we try to elongate that um, uh, chromatin material, then you can see if you go towards the right side of um, the diagram, you will see that this will be just opened like a thread and we will see more complicated threads uh, which are um, wound around different sets of proteins. If we open it even more, uh, then we will see that there are small sets of proteins. These proteins are called histones. These proteins are the set of those proteins around which DNA molecule is wrapped. Around each histone set, as you can see in the diagram, there are uh, the DNA fiber is um, wrapped around twice, two times. Then if we open it further and separate it from the proteins, then we can see the DNA helix separately uh, from the proteins. Um, if we uh, look, uh, the, these, this is this uh, phase or this structure is actually found when the cell is not dividing. That is, these are not condensed. But when the cell is dividing, this chromatin material is present in a condensed form. You can see on the extreme right, uh, in the form of the structures called chromosomes, which are actually highly condensed form of uh, these molecules. We call them chromosomes. You can see the various parts of a chromosome inside the center, the constricted region uh, is called the centromere, uh, around which on the sides are the arms and uh, the very corner of the arm, um, arms are called the telomere. So, this is about a generalized rough idea of that how chromatin material is present inside the chromosome, uh, sorry, inside the nucleus in the 
non-dividing phase and in the dividing phase. So chromatin is the genetic material. Chromatin material, um, when we call it chromatin, uh, it is actually uh, mainly in the non-dividing phase of the um, cell. When we call it a chromosome, when this is present in the dividing phase of the cell. Um, as we uh, looked in the previous diagram, chromatin material actually in non-dividing dividing phase is so thin, uh, so spreaded, so thin that it is not visible under the light microscope. When the cell comes in the phase of division, then what happens that these chromosomes, this, these DNA molecules start condensing in the prophase, the first phase of the uh, mitosis, the cell or the nuclear division, these chromosomes condense and uh, then uh, the, we can, we, we must say uh, in, in more correct terms that the chromatin material condense and uh, they make uh, the condensed structures uh, called chromosomes. So a uh, chromatin material is a, is a term for, for more thinner material which is not very visible. Um, and the chromosome is the more right term for the uh, chromatin material in the dividing phase when it is highly condensed and it is clearly visible under a light microscope if we stain that. There are certain specific characteristics of the genetic material uh, which actually make it a genetic material uh, because you know that uh, genetic material means that this particular molecule should be able to transmit the heredity information from the parents to the offspring to the next generation. It should have certain important functions. Number one is that it replicates itself. Number one that the genetic material should replicate itself. Replica means copy. It should be able to copy itself. Uh, if it is able to copy itself, then uh, it could uh, go to the next generation when the cell divides. The second property is this that it should regulate the growth and development of the organism. This particular molecule should have the capability uh, to regulate or uh, control the growth and development of the organism in which it is present. Uh, for example, uh, if we look at the human beings, um, we have so many characteristics. Uh, we have our eye colors, we have our hair colors, uh, we in our inside our body we make so many enzymes uh, our skin uh, is made up of cells proteins our hair up are uh, made up of different types of proteins every characteristic should be made and all of these things are regulated by the genetic material the third property is this that it allows the organism to adapt to the environmental changes now we know that environment is is always changing Environment is uh, like uh, temperature around us, is uh, changing always with the seasons. Uh, wind blowing around us is, uh, is always changing. Something, sometimes it is too, uh, uh, too much of wind. If sometimes there is a, there is a breeze, low one. Sometimes in, if it is very, uh, it may be very hot. Sometimes it may be very cold. Uh, and even there are certain environmental disasters which can change the environment altogether. Uh, the genetic material should have the property that it can change, adapt or we can say mutate itself to give the living organism a room for uh, adapting or dealing with or coping with the changes in the environment. Uh, so there are three properties which makes uh, a material, a molecule, a hereditary molecule. Number one, it replicates itself. Number two, it regulates the growth and development of the organism. And number three, that it allows to adapt. It allows the organism to adapt to environmental changes in the situation. Now, the chromosomes, uh, DNA, and the genes. Chromosomes consist of DNA molecules and proteins. When we call it, call a genetic material or a DNA molecule, a chromosome, when this molecule is wrapped around or we can say wound around different types of proteins. So chromosome is a complex of DNA wrapped around different types of proteins. 
DNA plus proteins. In chromosomes, DNA is wrapped around proteins. Few of these proteins are called histones. These are a specific type of proteins and uh, they are named as histones. As we have seen in the previous diagram, that around which there are two full circles of DNA which are um, wrapped. But there are certain other proteins uh, which are also associated with the DNA molecules in the chromosome. Uh, but these are not histones, we can call them non-histone proteins. So, we divide the proteins associated with DNA into histone, histones and the non-histone proteins. So, uh, we are talking about the chromosomes, uh, the genetic material, the DNA. What is DNA? DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is a large molecule. We call it a macromolecule and uh, this is uh, present in all types of uh, organisms except for a few in which the genetic material is RNA. In most of the organisms, DNA is the genetic material. Um, DNA uh, is, uh, is, is different uh, as it is present uh, structurally in different types of cells. We know that there are uh, cells which are called the prokaryotic cells which do not have a true nucleus. There are other cells which are called eukaryotic cells uh, which includes the animals and plants. Uh, these cells have a true nucleus. In the prokaryotic cells, DNA exists as a circular molecule though this is a chromosome because this is associated with the proteins, different types of proteins. Uh, these proteins are um, sometimes different from the proteins present in the eukaryotic chromosome, uh, but some proteins are similar to that of eukaryotic um, chromosomes. In eukaryotic chromosomes, they, uh, their DNA molecule, uh, their chromosome is actually um, a linear DNA molecule. Uh, in prokaryotes, it was circular DNA molecule. In eukaryotes, it is a long linear DNA molecule um, in the form of a chromosome that is associated with different types of proteins, um, histone and non-histone proteins. The prokaryotes also have another form of DNA present uh, outside their nucleoid region, inside their cytoplasm, which are small circular DNA molecules. These are called plasmids. Uh, the bacterial chromosome or uh, the pro prokaryotic chromosomes, as we know that bacteria are the prokaryotes. The prokaryotic chromosomes, uh, they have the genes for the, reg for the regulation of growth, for control, for development and everything. Uh, the plasmids, which are uh, the, we can call them extra nucleoid uh, uh, DNA, uh, circular DNA molecules, um, do not have essential genes. But these have certain genes for resistance to, for example, antibiotics, resistance to salinity or resistance to uh, extreme environmental conditions. So, the plasmids give an extra advantage to the prokaryotes, um, particularly the bacteria, to cope with the extreme environment. Um, in eukaryotes, as we talked about, that DNA is a linear molecule, it is a straight linear molecule. Uh, there are two more organelles which have uh, their DNA molecule of their own. Uh, these are the mitochondria and chloroplasts. Mitochondria also have a circular DNA molecule of its own. And the chloroplasts which are, uh, uh, we know that present in the plant cells uh, and, uh, pro uh, and uh, these, co uh, these um, uh, conduct the photosynthesis, these also have their own DNA molecule. Uh, that is why we assume that mitochondria and chloroplast they may be originated from some bacteria uh, because they matches in their chromos in their uh, DNA material and in their division um, of the organelle uh, with the uh, binary fission in the bacteria. So, uh, DNA molecule in prokaryotes is a circular molecule. It may be in the form of a chromosome or a plasmid. In eukaryotes, DNA molecule is linear and it is form present in the form of a linearly arranged chromosome and um, in the mitochondria and chloroplast, DNA is a circular molecule present inside their matrix. Next is gene. What is a gene? Gene is a length of DNA 
uh, that codes for a peptide or a protein. So, a uh, gene is a part of DNA or uh, a piece of DNA that codes for a peptide or a protein. Gene is um, nothing but a piece of DNA, a length of DNA. So, uh, the chromosomes uh, are the gene are, or the chromatin material is the genetic material which is uh, during the mitosis or division phase highly condensed and uh, we call them chromosomes. Organisms has have different number of chromosomes. For example, humans have 46 chromosomes present inside each cell, uh, the nucleus of each cell. Uh, these 46 chromosomes are present in 23 pairs. Uh, onion uh, have uh, um, 16 chromosomes which are present in 8 pairs. Uh, while Drosophila, the fruit fly, have uh, 4 chromosomes uh, present in 2 pairs. There are different types of organisms which have different number of chromosomes. Chromosomes also somehow determines the complexity of life. Mostly, more complex the organism, more complex, uh, more, uh, more number of chromosomes 